Mulan and the Dragon Race by Kathy McCullough and read to you today by Gammy. The Duan Wu Festival, also known as the Dragon Boat Festival, was quickly approaching. The celebration took place in China every spring on the fifth day of the fifth lunar month. Mulan's favorite part was the Dragon Boat Race. Each year, Mulan watched the boats from other villages race down the river. This year, Mulan wanted to do more than just watch. Our village should enter the race, Mulan told her family. Her father agreed that it would bring honor to their village, but her mother was worried. The village had never taken part in a race like this before. There's a first time for everything, Grandma Fa reminded her. When Mulan announced her idea, the villagers were hesitant. Mulan recalled Grandma Fa's words. There's a first time for everything, she said. Some of the villagers agreed to join Mulan. They were excited to try something new. Mulan and her teammates painted their boat to match Musha's fiery red scales and orange belly. It does sort of look like me, Musha said, but not quite as handsome. Training began the next day. The team needed a drummer to keep the beat for the rowers, so Musha volunteered. I've had a lot of practice all these years, he said. Musha began drumming a wild, uneven beat. Paddles clashed. The boat rocked. One roar even fell in. After the crew pulled their teammate back into the boat, Mulan showed Musha how to keep a steady rhythm for the rowers to follow. She clapped her hands. One, two, three. Bam! 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 Listening to the beat, the team arced their paddles through the air. Soon they were paddling in unison. Mulan was the team's sweep. It was her job to steer with a long oar. At first, the boat zigged and zagged. Then the roars heard Musha steady. Bam! 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 They followed the beat and glided easily through the water. After weeks of practice, it was finally the day of the race. Mulan and her team lined up their boats with the others, eager to start. To wake up each dragon, red dots were painted onto the eyes. The race began. The dragon boats zoomed away from shore, each drummer pounding out a different rhythm. As the other boats whizzed past, Mulan's team struggled to hear Musha's steady beat. Mulan tried to steer as the waves from the other team slapped against the side of their boats. She clutched her oar as the boat tipped this way and that. The drum bounced out of Musha's hands and into the water. He reached out to grab it and... Splash! Mulan fished Musha out of the water. But without her steering, the boat crashed into the reeds. Mulan's team slumped in their seats. How could they finish the race without a drum? We can't give up, Mulan told her teammates. It's true that we've never paddled without a drum, but they're the first time for everything. Together, we can make it to the finish line. And I can still give you a steady beat, Musha said. He clapped his hands. Clap, clap, clap. The roar smiled and lined up their paddles, ready to go. Mulan and her teammates steered the boat back into the river. The roars paddled through the water of Musha's beat again and again until they reached the finish line. The crowd on shore greeted Mulan's team with cheers. Although they were the last dragon boat to finish, they were the first to complete the race without a drum. That night, the village threw a party for Mulan and her team. They had tried something new and they hadn't given up. And that was worth celebrating. The end. We have so much more to learn. Be blessed.